really quickly, you guys. I don't know like how much time I'm gonna really have to update you guys, but they just moved me back into labor and delivery because uh, my contractions are starting to come a lot faster and harder. And um, when they went on ahead and checked me, they can't really tell me exactly how many centimeters I am because I have a bulge on my um, amniotic fluid. So um, it's really, really low. And she said I could be anywhere from eight to nine centimeters. So they moved me into labor and delivery until he comes. Um, I'm waiting, my mom is still here, but I am waiting for Jose and Sierra to come, my doula. And they are on their way over here now and then they're gonna switch out or whatever. Um, I'm freaking the fuck out. Like, yo, I'm pretty sure my phone is shaking right now because I'm freaking out. But I have a really pain, high pain tolerance. So they said for me to be like eight, nine centimeters, like I'm not complaining about pain or nothing like that. So I'm probably not gonna get an epidural. I'm trying, I'm gonna really try not to. But, um, um, yeah, no. The kind of contractions are just, they're no longer like in my stomach. They're more like in my hips, in my coochie, my hua, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so that's annoying. But this is what the room looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna take that bed out because I'm he's not gonna be able to be in that bed. He has to be in the, the um incubator. So he's not gonna be able to be in that bed. But I will update you guys when um Sierra and Jose get here. For now, I'm so glad I did my hair, y'all. <laughs> y'all know me. I'm so glad I did my hair. But for now I'm just just chilling like i'm pretty sure they're gonna start me on the magnesium medicine again which is gonna make me very loopy and very dizzy and i'm probably not gonna be able to see and all that stuff so i just want to come in here update y'all before i get like drowsy drugged up um i'm gonna try to do it without no epidural um but i don't know once that water break my water hasn't broken so i don't know once my water break i don't know but everything might happen so fast they said that i might not even be able to get the epidural because you know it takes a little bit to kick in but um yeah, I'm gonna try to try to have them record or something up the jaw. I'll make it work. All right, y'all. Here I come back looking drowsy as hell because I'm on the magnesium. But um, ah, uh, I don't think it's monitoring my contractions because I'm having one and it's not the numbers is not going up. Ay, ay, ay. Oof. Yeah. They be telling you to breathe, but you really can't. Like, how am I supposed to breathe? Um, Jose finally came. He's here. My doula is here. She has made it. God, mommy is here. Um, so now we're just waiting. Oh, that's his mom. Oh, we need this. Yeah. And snacks here. And snacks here, but I'm not eating, of course. Um, I don't think that the monitor is picking up on everything. But as y'all can see, they have the, they call that the giraffe, which is the incubator for the for the baby. Um, now, the good part is that when he is born, Jose is allowed to go with him to upstairs to the NICU. So I told Jose, like, yeah. don't take your eyes off my fucking baby. <laughs> because y'all know they be switching babies at birth. Sure. I don't play that. <laughs> but I don't play that. And I just want to make sure, like, you know, everything is okay. Because I still, like, after I give birth, I have to, like, deliver this placenta and do all that extra shit. And, like, yeah. he is moving so much. Um, But, yeah. I'm kind of worried that he's not going to come out. I'm kind of worried that he's not going to come out crying, which is, like, scary. But he is only two pounds right now. So, um, thank you for everybody who's been praying for us. But this little boy is hard-headed. He's going to come out whenever he won't. The good part is that my water has not broken. So, I don't know if they're going to break it or exactly how they're going to do everything. But I'm going to try to keep you guys as updated as possible. I'm scared as fuck. But I feel like I'm handling the pain really, really well. I'm not going to get an epidural unless I really, really need to. So, I'll come back when I got some new to tell y'all. <laughs> Lots of pressure. 
Okay, so just to update you guys really quick. Um, they broke my water. Um, so I still don't have any, uh, I still don't have an epidural. I'm having contractions, but I started to push. They just want to like make sure like I'm a cent more centimeter dieted or whatever. Um, cause his head's not all the way down. When they broke my water, my cervix contracted. So I'm sorry, I can't really see y'all. Y'all know this magnesium shit. I told y'all already. I got my eyes fucked up, but, um, my cervix had contracted. So it basically like went back. Um, so I, I gotta wait to dilate a little bit more and then I'm gonna try to push again. Um, it is, it's about to be four o'clock, right? It's three what? 3.53. It's 3.53 in the morning. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping for, but they went out the room. Everybody went out the room. They're gonna give me a half an hour to see like how everything is going. And then they're gonna come back in. I'm gonna try to push again. Honestly, I would have to say that uh, pushing hurts more than the contractions. Maybe just for me, like, I don't know. Everybody's different, but definitely pushing hurts more. Like, well, not necessarily. All right, what hurts more is like them putting their fingers up me while I'm trying to push. That hurts more. Um, as far as just me pushing on my own, it's not that bad. But yeah, y'all. Um, I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Um, yeah, no, the contractions are not that bad as far as like pain wise, they're just in my hips for right now. Ay, ay, ay. Show you're taking it like a champ, y'all. How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. Feeling, feeling good, good. you stressed. <laughs> I'm feeling better, made you feel better. No, yeah, I'm, like, I'm just really sleepy like i want to go to sleep like i don't understand how i'm so supposed calm. to i don't Made know i don't know how i'm supposed to push a baby out and i'm tired like i want to take a nap um but the only thing is like i just wish she wasn't coming right now because mind you joy she's just talking like this after she just pushed for like 20 minutes uh, i can change it all night she regular as hell i just um chill so i know her son gonna be all right yeah, I just like they gotta instantly take him into the incubator and like take him right up to the NICU. So we don't really get to see him. I don't know exactly. Like Jose's gonna go with him, but I'm not gonna like know anything until somebody gets back to me or like. I'm gonna record it. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see him. They have a mirror right here. I ain't gonna show y'all because y'all gonna see my. <laughs> but they have a mirror right here. And I can see myself pushing, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to see him. And then I'm scared to see him because I don't know what he's going to look like. Like, I just got, I don't know, got a lot of anxiety, got a lot of fear. But pain-wise, I'm okay. Like, it's more so me psyching myself out for real, for real. But I'll come back to y'all when I know more or when he's here. Or I don't know. I keep saying that, like, but I don't know. Yeah, I I'm so sleepy. I'm so glad I did my hair. I'm so glad I did my hair. Why was it right No, for real. Maybe came through today because I literally would probably would have. It's crazy because I didn't expect that you was going to be through that. Going your face, tell me you was like, oh, I feel so much better. I did. I did feel better because they took me off the medicine. I was mm -hmm. feeling better. Once they put me on this magnesium shit, I feel like this right now. Like my vision is blurry. I'm drowsy, I'm hot, it's just a lot going on. But they also said that because I'm very small too. Um, I'm only like, I'm, I'm 5'1". And, and they got the room hot as hell too. Yeah, they got the room very, very hot because they got to keep the room really warm for when he comes. So the room is hot as hell in here and the, the, the fucking medicine is making me even more hot. But yes, Sister Cheryl's, how you feeling? I'm ready to meet the baby. Child, aren't we all? <laughs> aren't we all? I just don't want to push the baby. <laughs> I just want to. I wish I could out. push for a little bit. I just want to slip out. I thought they was gonna break the water and then we gonna be like, Bloop. 
But no, they broke the water and sat there for a little bit. And I looked at everybody like, what we doing? <laughs> I looked around like, okay. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I didn't want to. I, I didn't like, want to say nothing, but I was looking around like, okay, now what? Right. Like, what the fuck we all just seeing? They all just staring at my coochie. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what now? But, yeah, I'm going to come back when I know something. For real, for real. Because right now it's just a lot going on. But, yeah, we'll be back. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, ignored my, the side of my wig. I see it. Like, y'all gonna say something or not? I see it. <laughs> it's lifting up, but that's why I have the bonnet on because at this point, can't do. Last night, there was no baby. Still inside me. I'm still pregnant. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's good, but still. Um, no baby yet. This is blowing my shirt. I'm sorry. I need to put it the fuck down. I'm sitting here telling y'all about it. But, um... Right now, currently, it is, what time is it, y'all? 8.50. It's 8.50 in the morning. It's May 9th, I think, Mother's Day. I am seven centimeters dilated. Um, no epidural. I'm trying to go natural. Trying. Trying. Um, they're not that bad. I feel like, honestly, yesterday when I was pushing, I hurt way more than these contractions. But then again, I don't really know because, well, yeah, I do know. Now, the contractions of, like, with your water broken, they do hurt more. But I still think the pushing was worse. Um, I am having contractions. But I've been, like, on my all fours and then, like, sitting on my back a little bit. So I'm trying to do everything I possibly can. Uh, they think that most likely he will be coming today. So, I see. My doula is still here. Oh, there she go. And then Jose's over there. They got a little bit of rest. Um, I know I slept a little bit, but then I can't, I slept and then I keep waking up like, ow, ow, ow. And then I went back to sleep. Um, they just gave me some Tylenol because I had a really, really bad headache because of the medicine that I'm on. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to vlog through a contraction. I had a contraction name for it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't think this, like, it could be possible for my pain tolerance to be this high. I think it's because he's small that I'm, like, okay being able to go natural and everything like that because... Because there's no way in hell I'm getting contractions and I'm not feeling them. There's no way. I don't believe it. Ow! 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 Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ow! Oh my gosh. Oh. Ow. more so just really pressure in my in my hoo-ha and in my butt Ow. and me sitting on my butt is not helping it Chest 
and push down for me. Push it away. Come on, girl. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got to keep going. Right into it. Right into it. That's it. Do it again. Do it again. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Take a breath. Take a breath. Open your eyes. Oh, my God. 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 Hey, you guys. Um, yes. Today is the last day of our long hospital journey. Like, I feel like I've been here for like two, three weeks. Child, I've only been here for a week and I'm exhausted. Um, I have been pumping, so I've been getting a lot of milk. More than he needs, they're saying. So that's good. Um, yeah, we still are in like the recovery part of it. Um, so as far as like postpartum, um, I didn't tear. I didn't need no stitches or anything like that. He was so tiny though. I feel like honestly, if I had to push, like if I had to, to do this when he was like full term, can you imagine? Like, I feel like I would have definitely tore ribs. So I'm like, oh my God. It was just it's overwhelming to think that the whole head comes out of your hoo-ha like that's crazy but um yeah no so I am getting like you know bleeding you bleed right after you have a baby anyway so just like a little discomfort uncomfortable like persistent pain in my pussy <laughs> but um my face looks so fat it's crazy other than that um, they've been giving me, you know, like the witch hazel pads, little square bottle that you use. Um, they did give me some dermaplast just to help with everything, but I've been doing really good. Like, honestly, what was hurting the most, honestly, what was hurting the most after I gave birth was really my back. Like the back pain was crazy, bro. And they're like, maybe you did a deep bruise. Cause I, like I said, I got the epidural, but I got the epidural at like 11 and I pushed him out like one. So it was like, damn, that shit. If I had, if I would have like, you know, got the epidural and people that get the epidural and they have it for a while, I feel like definitely that would have fucked me up like way worse. Um, yeah, no, when I first got rolled over here, my right leg was like, my left leg was good. Not good all the way, but it was like, it was a little weak. The right leg did not want to wake up. I'm like, come on now, wake up. But um, ever since then, I've been able to like walk and stuff like that. I'm able to get up. I'm doing a lot better. Now, because I am pumping, I feel my uterus contracting. Like when I'm pumping, I get cramps. Not like... Not like period cramps, it's a little bit different to me. They kind of feel like little, little minor contractions. Like when I first got pulled into triage, um, I was having like contractions, but to me it was just like my stomach was tightening. That's kind of what it feels like, but just not him in there. Another thing is that, um, I can't remember if it was last night, this morning, child, my nights and days are all messed up, but I was asleep, or at least trying to sleep. And I felt like he was toying me. <laughs> like, it just felt like something had, like, brushed past. Like, when you first, first start to feel your baby kick or move. And it's just, like, a light, like, feathery feeling. Like, fluttery feeling. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Not in me. But, yeah, that's the only thing where I'm like, what the fuck is that? So we are getting discharged today. He's doing really good. He's in the NICU. He did come out with jaundice because um, me and him have two different blood types. So he is under the light. But he's doing so good. Like, he didn't need a breathing tube. He didn't need anything like that. And they were preparing us. Like, before I had him, they were preparing us. Like, you know, he could be really small and he could need this and need that. And when he came out, he cried. Like, he came out, he cried. He was, he had his eyes open when he came out and everything. So, he's doing really, really good. Of course, I will be announcing his face and everything like that. No time soon, though. Um, 
because it's gonna be in the Nikki for a while and all that. So, but there is gonna be a big reveal, of course, of his face. I don't know if we're still going to do the baby shower and everything like that. Um, we're still gonna do something, of course, but I just don't know how extravagant it's gonna be because we were planning like a big full blown out John, okay? Y'all know me, I'm very extra when it comes to like the events and shit, but I'm thinking now just more something small, family, like close family oriented. Um, that way we don't have to spend that much money and he still gets everything that he needs. We basically have everything that he needs. That's the crazy part. Like it really lined up just good. Um, yeah, I did have an ice pack the first day because it was like a lot of swelling down there. But now I'm like good. Like, you know, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm doing everything regular again. Um, stomach is not as flat. I'm going to show you guys when I go to the bathroom again. It's not as flat. It's getting there. It's getting there. But, like, I'm tiny. Like, I told you guys I weighed 98 pounds before I got pregnant. And I went up to, like, 125. So, I'm still little. It's just mainly in my face. Like, I feel like in my face and a little in my stomach, that's where all the weight went. Um, but yeah, he's doing so good. So we're just going to keep praying and keep hoping. Um, thank you for everybody. Like y'all were so supportive too. I want to give like a big thanks to Jose and Sierra because yo, y'all know they wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it without them. Like they really came through like with the support and everything. I also wanted to ask some of y'all, like, if you guys know anybody who's had preemie babies or if you've had a preemie baby, like, you know, just comment down below, um, you know, some stuff that I should look forward to and things like that. Just any advice that you guys may have. I'm open to everything. Um, I am a little sad to leave without him. I feel like that's going to be, like, the hardest thing that I could do is just to leave the hospital and, and him having to stay here. That's gonna be like hard. If I'm whispering, it's cause Jose's asleep, but you might hear him snoring in the background. We have a long journey, but I'm gonna vlog his whole NICU journey. Like, and you guys will be able to see him, of course, after I announce his face and everything like that once he's home. You guys will be able to see like these little moments of like when he first, first came out versus how he's growing and how he grew and everything like that so that's really good but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little update um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to see his journey and my postpartum journey because i know that's gonna be rough it's gonna be a long journey i'm just taking it day by day right now so but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am going to come back with, like, plenty of hair videos. Like, I'm not going to slack. I'm still going to allow myself to give you guys good content and everything like that. But just bear with me, okay? But yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.